Yes, yes. So, hello, 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 hello. We are back again. We are the Decibel Sounds, uh, the Decibel Audio Kenya. We are here today with Mr. Maina, right over here, the manager. Uh, that's the manager over here. When you come, ask for Mr. Maina. I'm also another Maina, but just ask for him. Normally, he's the one who is around managing things at Decibel Audio Kenya. So, we are yet, we're going to do yet another video today. And the video is going to be the last one probably for the drive rack. So the drive rack we've had so many series. Today we want to stop. Oh, actually not. Uh, probably not the last one. We're going to do the last, the second last part, which is uh, the crossover. Then the last part will be the feedback destroyer. So today we are going to do the crossover. So the crossover parts from the drive rack processor. So without further ado, let us go right into the drive rack um, and cover the crossover parts. Alright, so let us do this, let us do this. So this is the mixer, we are using the Soundcraft Signal, Soundcraft Signature 16 mixer. Signal flowing all the way to the drive rack right over here. So this is the back part of the crossover, just for illustration. And then we are using the four channels power amplifier that is driving our sub and that is driving our mid frequency, our mid uh, speaker, sorry. And we are going to jump right into it. So remember, we've covered the crossover, the compressor, and now today we are going to cover the crossover. Yes, the crossover. So we are already here. So assuming we are we were under programs, so just press the crossover button right over here then you get this display that is showing high mid and low so we have already selected the low frequency so we can we can start with the with setting the low frequencies on our crossover so what do we need to do which is quite easy we have the frequency reading here example here we are reading 25.0 hertz this is the bandwidth bandwidth is a is a, is a is a collection of similar frequencies so you can set a small bandwidth of like six frequencies that are similar in functionalities you can do them 12 you can do them 24 so you are combining them to bring or to have one effect because normally they they do almost the same the same thing and then on the last part we have the 9.6 reading db that is a that is a power unto which we are driving our low end frequency so you can either lower that or you can put it uh, more if you want to. So I'm going to put in some music from the mixer. That's good. That is uh, there's a song playing right over there. So we are working with the low frequency. So I'm going to turn off the mid frequency there. So I'm only left with the low frequency. So I'm able to manipulate this one now. So first of all, you choose the frequency that you want to work with. Then the bandwidth or the the number of frequencies that you want to affect and then the amount of dbs that you're going to drive into that so using this uh we like we like knob um it's uh, currently on the dbs so it's reading 9.4 i can bring that one down as low as i want so if you are keen or if you can listen carefully then I've killed almost all the the low frequencies. That's because I've lowered the number of dBs going into our into our setup. So if you increase this one, you are going to get um, volume pumped up a bit. That's the low frequency pumped up a bit. I remember that one now we are at around 5.9. So remember that one now is under 25.0 hertz. So you can still change this one to a different uh, frequency. Press this one in. So these arrow points are 25.0. So you can be able to change this. Okay, so you are going low to 40 hertz. But normally the low frequencies are from uh, from 20 hertz to about maybe 40, 50 there. Uh, come see this one is going up to 100, which is okay. Because that is the end at which you are going to get your low frequencies. Uh, let me show you via this equalizer to just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So 100 frequencies around here. 
so normally these are these are low frequencies when you are when you're using a, an equalizer the same will apply still if you're using a crossover so hearts beyond 100 uh mid and high frequencies so that's why we are going up to up to 100 hertz so 100 hertz should be around here so you can pump this one up but it will sound more mid than bass so this is the highest frequency when it comes to low to low frequency um so let's uh get to around maybe 50 there then you press this one wheel like button in so you've set it at 50 so you do the bandwidth the bandwidth when we when talk about six frequencies we're talking like one two three four five six so we are working together with this one the effect that we're going to hear is going to affect the six frequencies so you can put that one up to 12 you get a wider uh, a wider bandwidth and then you can change the you can change the uh, the number of decibels okay so you can either boost this one i hope you can be able to hear we are we are we are increasing the the 50.0 hertz to about now we are about 10 dbs i remember you are still working under the the low frequency so you can be able to do this to all your frequencies that is the mid and the high frequency and because now we are using the uh, we are using the high and the low frequency so i'm able to come here press this button again that one not there we go to the next page next still there frequencies so i'm now working with the high frequency so you use the next button to go to the next to the next uh, frequency so that now we are under under the high frequency so i can be able to turn this one down the low then i'm able to pump up the mid frequency and set the crossover for this one so i hope you're able to hear me as you also hear the music so still the same same thing under 90 hertz so 90 hertz should be starting around uh, 90 hertz should be starting around here so this is the lowest uh, the lowest frequency when it comes to mid range frequency so where base or where the low ends that's where the mid begins i hope you're able to understand that so we can be able to set the frequency at 90 frequency at uh, 90 hertz so the bandwidth is okay we can set it at we can leave it at that but on the dbs we can either increase or decrease we can start by decreasing there the dbs to infinity so that is zero you can't be able to hear anything or be able to pump that to about maybe zero or more dbs okay so that is you can at 2.4 dbs you come there then again you change this one the hearts you put it a bit higher you can go to 100 hearts you can change this one if you want so you can go all the way up to up to the highest frequencies so you're able to set your high frequencies from the beginning of from where you want them to begin and at how much you want them to play so if you set it at let's say 100 you are saying your high frequency should start at at uh, the maximum which is um 20 kilohertz coming all the way to 100 hertz okay so you can't go beyond there you can actually but let's say you are going to start from the 90 okay but if you want your high frequency to be to be just high frequency without the mids you play with this wheel this one okay so you are eliminating the mids you are eliminating the highs and you are also you are only going to be left with the with the high frequencies all right but now because we're using a mid speaker then we can give our bandwidth uh, we can give our frequency a bigger range so we can come back give it some mids and give it a bit of uh, a bit of low frequencies if you want okay so that's a mid speaker but it's using uh, it has some lows some mids and of course some high frequency you can do the same to your mid frequency if you have some cables coming from the mid section is right over here and basically that is it you are just done with that crossover then you come here you set your 
you set your um, you are you are frequency your bandwidth and the number of dbs that you want to do you can also be able to control where your bin starts from where your low starts from so you can completely eliminate any frequency that you don't want if you don't want the high frequency you can eliminate that from the low when you're working with the low if you don't want to have mids and lows uh, on your high high um, um high frequencies you can be able to completely eliminate that and that is basically it nothing much uh, when it comes to crossover just pressing there coming to next so this is just a matter of uh, hearts that's how much you are going to do if you come to next there you're going to again jump to the low so the drive rack is automatically sensing that we have that we have the low frequency and the high uh, frequency already set the cables are already in and that is it today we are using program number four that uh, the same one that we've been using is called the DJ setup it has high frequencies and low frequencies so that's why we have no uh, we have no frequencies uh, coming from the mids so if you try to, to come to next it will jump to high then to low because it says there is no mid frequency connected that is basically it so we have set our base and we have set our mids so we can listen to some bass and some mid right over there and our crossover is set this is it class is done that is the crossover part and it's a wrap we see you in the next video mr Maina, what do you have to tell the people i want to welcome you to decibel audio yes yes this is uh, where quality sound meets the experts exactly you are much welcome yes for trainings mm. for purchases yes you have quality products yes that suits your pockets awesome welcome welcome all decibel audio kamai road we are situated at the junction of Lutuli Avenue and Kamai Road. Anytime you, you are in, you can even come and say hi. Even if you are not buying uh, that particular day, just come and say hi. And that will be a beautiful, beautiful thing. So that is it for today. It's adios from us. It's bye-bye.